クズだはっはっはっジェノサイン勝った What's up, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo. And today we have quite a few things to talk about. We have some new events. We have the Immortal Typhon that just arrived today. And we also have new cars, which we already got to see, but we didn't know the effects. So we can actually talk about that a little bit today. So the first thing I want to go over is the Valentine's Score event, which is this guy right here. And these are really nice. You know, we can get these extra rewards. You'll be able to get a freaking Fest voucher, which is awesome. 30 gold hammers, all these capsules, the same old typical stuff we normally get. But I mean, this stuff really is amazing. This is great, although a lot of us have used up our damn AP.、Uh, we don't have a whole lot of AP, and it really kind of sucks because we need to save our AP for the next collab. We know there's probably going to be a rush event, and it really would be better if we could save our AP. But when they do things like this, we can't. And we all know they do that for a reason. They want us to use the AP. Now, I'm not going to farm this at all. Until we get until the next six days. Once six days is up, then I'll probably try to farm this a little bit and at least get those rewards in the check reward. And then we can see what's actually in the exchange shop. I really don't know. But when you're playing this, you want to make sure you use all these lovely characters, no pun intended. And then these cards, if you have them on the characters or even on your strikers, or use them as strikers as well, to get the maximum amount of points so you can reach that 100,000 to get the maximum amount of rewards. But Personally, guys, I'm just going to wait. I'm not going to farm this at all for another six days. And once the SP is open, then I'm going to farm the living hell out of it. But I really wish they would lower the AP drops in there、uh, so we could actually have more AP to be able to farm it. Because, like I said, the Seven Nights drained us. All these events have drained us. And once again, now we have another event that's going to drain us. They really need, I really wish they would give us a little, like, decrease the cost by half. You know, only use half of your AP for those kinds of things. Then we have the Kazumi Operation Valentine event, which is pretty cool. You can actually get, you know, hammers, you can get experience balls, and we got some cars. Nothing really special. You are going to get some free rubies. So this is a nice little touch. It's going to be very easy to do. I like it. Very cool. And then we have the Mukai Chocolate event. This thing actually came in the game quite some time ago. It's been a long time since、uh, Mukai was in here. Well, one year, actually. And this is a good event because you'll be able to get these tokens where you can, you know, acquire any of these resources. And, you know, every week you can get a memory for Clone Zero. This is already in the game, but it's just nice that you're going to be able to get extra tokens. You'll also be able to get extra hammers, experience balls up to level three. So it's a nice little event. You only need to score 30 million. To get the max amount of rewards. And if you use your Valentine fighters, if you have them leveled up, they're going to get a massive attack buff by 300% and a decreased damage by 50%. So even though they might not be as tanky or as strong as maybe Fest characters, they're going to be really amazing here because they're getting a massive attack buff. 300% is no freaking joke. If you guys like to see a video about this,、uh, let me know and I'll try to queue it up、uh, best I can without using overpowered characters. And then we have the Immortal Typhon has returned. And this dungeon actually so far has been the one where I've scored the least amount. I do plan on trying to bump this up. I will be maybe trying some different teams now that the BS characters are in here. And I know a lot of you don't have BS characters, but we, we need to see what teams we're actually going to need to get the max score for this bastard. So I will be talking about that in the future as well. And then we have the new cards. And let's take a look at these things. Let's take a look at these things. So, we have four new cards. We'll just jump in here. We got four new cards. So, we'll start with the option cards. You got the one for Orochi Yori here, which gives him an increased critical rate by 2.3%, which is great for Yori. He already has an insane amount of crit rate to begin with. He gets crit rate buffs and critical damage buffs. Then he gets this decreased duration of freeze petrify effect by 20%. Hmm, well, we'll talk a little bit more about that. And then he gets this 30% chance to deal darkness damage equal to 40% of attack to an enemy upon landing an active skill. Now it's a 30% chance. I wish this was a 100% chance, but this might be, maybe, it is a fast card. It's going to bump up your CP quite a bit. This might be a good option card for Guild Raid. I don't know. It needs to be tested, but really currently we don't need it. However, a lot of players, maybe they don't have Delon. Maybe Psyche isn't quite cutting it. And maybe with the team up with Iori in there, maybe that would help, even though Iori doesn't buff 
psyche but some you know i would use iori psyche and guinness if i was just doing this without or actually actually lady geese would be better because she actually gets buffed up from iori and gildred but i really don't know how good this card's gonna be and the fact that he has you know the 20 percent uh decreased duration of freeze and petrify i mean when you look at orochi iori we'll come out of here and we'll look at him let me see if I can find old boy. When you take a look at Iori, and you look at his core effects, he doesn't have any duration decrease on anything already. 20% is not going to be enough. That's not going to be enough. I don't think that's going to really make much of a difference. So when I see that, I think, okay, like what is that really going to be good for? Uh, I really wish they'd gave him just 100% darkness on the damn scale. I think that would have been better. And maybe a guard break. That would have been really nice too. Or maybe some kind of immunity. Something like that. Uh, maybe an immunity based on how often you do your skills. Like on a cooldown. That would have been really good. But I don't know. His card just looks okay. We'll see. It's going to have to be tested. It might make a big difference. I don't really know yet. And then we have the Obstacle Card for Leona. Which looks fantastic. Decreased skill cooldown, which is the same as K and Kula, those characters that got the decreased cooldown. And then she gets this increased power charge rate by 1.5%. That is freaking amazing. So you still get to keep most of your cooldown. Normal cooldown cards are 1.9 seconds. You get to keep, you're only losing 0.7 seconds. So this is going to be a great card. Like for the dungeons, you pop this card on her, she's going to get extra PG rate, which is insanely good. On top of the PG rate that's already in her core. And she just got a 3 PG card. So this is actually fantastic. And then the boot, they gave her an increased shock damage dealt by 50% for 10 seconds when using an active skill. So when you use the skill, no matter what, there's no chance here. You're increasing your shock damage by 50%. And this girl has shock explosion on a three second cooldown. So this is absolutely insane. This thing has no cooldown on it. That is crazy. So she's going to be dealing insane insane shock damage she's getting pg rate she still gets to keep her cooldown this is a hell of an option card honestly i think they did a lot better for leona than what they did for iori but again we might have to you know we have to test it iori's option card to really see if it makes a difference in guild raid or if it if it doesn't and then we get to talking about the three pg cards so we have leona's three pg which increases penetration by 700 for 10 seconds when using v slasher which is the 3 pg card so you get the extra penetration which means you're weakening the defensive stats of the opponents you're facing for example if an opponent has 1200 defense take 1200 minus 700 that's 500 defense that they have now so you're just internally going to be doing more damage and then and then of course normally Ona cannot equip this card okay so her 3 pg looks okay i mean i wish i had seen something else on this skill but okay penetration still is good and then you got Iori's now Iori's is pretty crazy uh, it's kind of like the opposite the opposite between the option card and the 3 pg cards for both these characters for Iori's 3 pg he gets a freaking and crazy increased attack by 10 percent crit rate buff by 3.6 percent so with his option card he's going to have 6.8 percent extra critical rate that 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 is pretty damn massive but there are other option cards that give you critical rate so again i will have to see how well that that's going to play out both of them synergizing together or not but the 10% increased attack is nuts. It is nuts. However, it is a 3 PG card, which we normally love. And I love it too. By the way, the artwork on all these cards look fantastic. But if you take a look at the 3 PG animation for Iori, if you take a look at this thing, and we'll look at Leona's as well. When you look at the 3 PG, this is a cool looking skill. I really like it. But however, I want you guys to notice something. It is not near as long as the 5 PG. And that makes me worry as far as how well it's going to perform in Guild Raid. However, in PvP, it's going to be better. And really, honestly, in the dungeons, it's probably going to be better too. Because you're going to be able to rotate between this 3 PG and your default 3 PG. So it's, I mean, it's a better card overall uh, than is 5 PG. But for Guild Raid, I still think that 5 PG is still going to be the Kingdom Come. And this skill looks freaking awesome. I love it. I do love it, but I love his 5PG a lot more. It's just way more intense. He's just slashing and slicing. It's just, ugh. He's going medieval on their butts, and I just love it. 
And then we go down to Leona. And you take a look at her 3PG. And it's, you know, it's a, it's a short skill. And again, similar to Orochi Yori's 3PG, it's going to be really good, probably for the dungeons. Obviously, it's going to be better uh, in PvP. Really, this skill is going to be all around better for her because with the option card, she's going to get the extra PG rate. She's going to be doing this skill and her default 3PG more often. Uh, yeah, I mean, both these characters really are going to be better, definitely in certain... Like, I think Leona's going to be better overall in all game modes. And I think that uh, Rochi is going to be really better in all the game modes except for Guild Raid with the 3PG. We'll see about the option card. I mean, it does have a 30% chance to deal darkness, so I really don't know until we can actually test these cards out before we know. But I, I guarantee you, Leona, her option card, her 3PG, it's it's she's already insanely strong uh, with the buffs that she just got, and they just buffed her up even more. They just buffed her up even more. It's freaking nuts what they did for that character. So, what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go into the summons here. And I actually do have a bunch of stuff. Let's go ahead and do this free summon here real quick. We'll just skip it. Maybe I can get Elizabeth, get lucky. Nope, okay, whatever. We get Joy, no big deal. But I do have a bunch of these damn things, right? So let me see if I can get something. Let me see if I can get something. Okay, well, that's, that's not what we want. That's not what we want. So I got... Uh, Iori's 3PG here, and I have both of Leona's, her 3PG, and her option card all in here. I can only put three of them in there, so let's do it. Let's see what we get. And these gold tokens I got for free uh, from the login events. Come on now. Hook it up. Hook it up. Really, honestly, guys, I really want a Rochi's 3PG, and I want Leona's uh, option card of 3PG more than any of them. I would like to have a I keep saying Orochi, but Iori's option card, but I, I wonder how good it's really going to be. We'll, we'll see. I don't I don't want to jump to conclusions. I don't want to jump the gun on anything. You never know sometimes until you actually test. But I do think overall with the 3PG card, he's absolutely going to be better. For sure. He's definitely going to be better than PvP. Okay. Okay, a Noah card, whatever. Unfortunately, those are kind of useless for me these days. And we don't want to use any of our rubies. So I got a bunch of these things. Been saving these forever. Let's, let's see if we can get some. And I think this is a good time to try this. I really do want to get uh, these option cards and the tree PGs. Uh, so we can test them. Okay, nothing. That sucks. Looks like we'll be combining some cards at the end of this. And if I go to the end, I don't really know what I'm going to pick. If I don't get any of these cards, I don't know what I'm going to pick. I have no idea. It's hard to say, to be perfectly honest. Okay, don't care, don't care. Let's just skip it. Okay, I mean, whatever, the 5PG. Oh, that's nice. Come on, man, come on. Please, 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 please. Hook it up, hook it up. I'm just going to skip it. I mean, that's cool and that's freaking amazing. That's freaking amazing. Oh, yes! Okay, so this is beautiful. I can actually test that 3PG card. Hail to the yes. And I know if I have two 3PG cards, it's going to bump up my CP more. But what I want to do is I want to I want to change out that card. And I want to put in his option card there we go and see if we can get lucky and get that because i am curious about it that's awesome man i got the 3pg hail to the yes i'll be testing that today and give you guys some feedback on that as soon as i can we'll just skip it let's go holy walk maka wakas look at that guys look at that so I got his option card. Okay, Leona, Leona, Leona. Okay, this is great. So now all I can do is I can pick Leona. So I'm going to go ahead and this gives the massive uh, chance up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one out. I'm going to put uh, Leona's option card in there, right? 
and then we'll put this there that way we increase the chances a little bit more to get that option card i really want the option card more than our 3pg to be perfectly honest come on come on come on come on come on and it re this really is nice you know i've been saving and saving and saving all of these damn tokens and this is sweet not using rubies for these things i love it okay we'll just skip it not bad two of these things where's my leona where's my leona come on i mean they're they're, they're wanting me to have iori they're wanting me to test them big time but what about leona come on man hook it up my waifu needs some love where are we at with this let's get something good well we got a fest card okay don't really care i don't honestly guys i don't need any fest cards uh at all i mean ryugo it's it's honestly these days it's it's a good card for certain characters but it just isn't as good as it used to be uh thanks to the leah unfortunately come on man give me something with leona give me your option card or a 3pg Quit jerking me around. Ugh. It sucks so much. How many more we gotta go? Seven? So I'll just go seven here. Hmm. And here's the thing about this. You know, really if I would have saved this, I would have, could have saved it for Mian because she's probably going to be coming in a few days. So I'll probably end up regretting doing what I'm doing here. But it is what it is. I'm going to save all these other tokens right here. I'm not going to use any more of those. In hopes to maybe get Mian's card whenever she shows up. Unfortunately, I didn't get the card I wanted. But I will be able to choose either between Leona's 3PG or her option card. Personally, guys... I, the option card, personally, I think would be better for me. Uh, but let me know in the comments what you guys would prefer. Do you think it's better to go with the 3PG? Or do you think it's better to go with the option card? Uh, because I can choose either or. And I will be doing a future video probably about Iori's cards and to see how good they really are. So let me know how you're all feeling about all of these events. Uh, let me know if you think that they should give us you know, a discount on AP uh, or have a event going on like so where the ap is half the cost when we're using them and let me know what you think about the cards and i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching y'all take care and have a good one